What's going on, guys, out in Revolution Land? Today I have uh, two very special guests with me, Lena and Pedro Santos. Um, how are you guys? We are fine at this moment, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And, it, and, and where are you guys based? Uh, in Lisbon, Portugal, yeah. Oh, very, very nice. I, I had the opportunity Our to visit. Yeah, it's in a the beautiful end of <laughs> It's actually also, if I'm not mistaken, is becoming one of the most rapidly developing cities in, in recent years as well. Yeah. Um, so many of my European friends are moving to Lisbon as well. I, I, I think it's also because, uh, well, there's some other, there's some good reasons for that also. Okay, fine, it's the taxes. But it's, yeah. <laughs> but it's also a magnificent city, magnificent yeah. city. Good food, good weather, yeah, it's safe. Beautiful. Yeah, actually phenomenal food, I have to say. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, and I had an opportunity to eat quite a lot of the, the tarts, the egg tarts as well. Yeah. Those, those. yeah. You, know, you know what's funny actually is that um, uh, Chinese culture has a, a Chinese version of the egg tart. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, there's a lot of Portuguese traders who, who yeah, came, yeah, yeah. And, you know? Yeah. And the, 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 the base is typical uh, in many Chinese food. Uh, the base yeah. of the egg is, is used uh, in, in many ways. Yeah. Absolutely. So first, I want to mention your two Instagram handles. So Pedro, you're watches and pens, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And Lena, you are Nina Little Creatures, right? And the Little Creatures refers to these beautiful, artisanal, um, handmade animals that you have there. I see you've got um, one there. What, what animal is that? Is that a, oh, it's a raccoon? Yeah. yeah. And a, little, a frog on the side. And then you also sent me my friend Pancho. So Pancho is uh, uh, here. He's a dachshund. Uh, which is my favorite dog, and he's wearing the Revolution cape. And, and I have to say, <laughs> if any of you guys are in the market for for uh, a stuffed animal, it's wonderful to see someone making them in such an artisanal way, also, and, and so beautiful. And it was amazing because I I used to own two dachshunds, um, with, where they they were very old and they passed away. But but now I have uh, Pancho to keep me company, and and Pancho is also wearing a watch that we're here to discuss today. Let's yes, see, yes. Right to, uh, there you go. That's his collar. And that's the uh, Sin uh, Dark Star. So, uh, Pedro, let's talk uh, um, a little bit about your photography because you made some amazing images of this yeah, Sin watch. Thank you. For thank you. Tell yeah. us a little bit about how you got started. Uh, the photography for me, it's it starting uh, early when I, 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 I most born. <laughs> oh, wow. but, okay. um, but starting uh, uh, very strong in the last years. Um, and uh, uh, the, the, I also start to, to like watches from some time ago. And uh, in the last years, I remember to join the two things, yeah, the, the watches and the, the photography. And um, my friend um, Andres Sampaio from Watch Garage uh, sent me, uh, uh, he lent me uh, the Sin Dark Star. Um, and I, uh, I starting to take picture of, the, of him, and uh, starting playing with the, the, the watch, uh, and uh, um, making a different approach to, to the photography. Uh, and, and after that, I remember, whoa, uh, it was nice. I tag you and the revolution, everything like that, and remember to, to make also some prints, uh, different uh, uh, for, for my use. And uh, and you like it, yeah? It's it's crazy, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's fantastic. You know what I'd like to propose to you, actually, uh, Pedro, is uh, for the next issue of Revolution. Why don't you do a shoot for us? So we'll um, organize with uh, the watch uh, retailers or brands that are based in Lisbon. They can deliver the watches to your home because I imagine we're all working still a little bit in this, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's... isolation kind of way. And yeah, if you yeah. want to do. A uh, an entire shoot for us with several different watches. Um, oh, it, that was is crazy. <laughs> oh, and we use your style. I love the mise en scène that you've done. You know, it really reminds me of these beautiful sort of like Dutch, uh, you know, um, uh, still lifes that I, I really like. So yeah, let's take a look at, at some of these because there's a lot of people who do watch photography, but there's something about yours that I really love. It is simultaneously like immaculately captured at the same time like it's got this wonderful naturalism to it as well and i have to say your use of light is really really well done yeah uh, i try not to to do photos like was made like computer is this not the normal way that i see uh, very clinical photos uh, um, kind of photos that, you, that uh, uh, we think that you can do it in computer and i like a more natural way of of the the, the photos more organic. 
I also, I use uh, different colors and different, different tones in the editing to make um, more personal photos. I think is uh, the, the difference is that um, I think it, it uh, uh, represents my pictures. I think so. Yeah, it's fabulous. You know, it's 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 wonderful because it's it's um, it's very pure. It's very elegant. It's not too busy. It's quite restrained. And there's just a few um, there's there's a few elements, but you work in different tones that are very yeah. complementary and different shapes that are very complementary as well. So this is Lena. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're holding up. So what is the size of the prints that we're will be because we're, we're going to start offering these on Revolution as well? Yeah. The paper is uh, a two size that is around uh, 60 uh, by 40 centimeters yes. and the print uh, and the, the printing area uh, is around uh, uh, 30 by 40 and 30 by 30 uh, depends of the, the if it's more rectangular or square shape the, the image but it's uh, I think a nice size yeah fantastic so we we um, I bought one and gave it the one that you sent to us. I bought that and I, I gave it to the guy who won the Sin watch for the auction that we did. For I see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> nice, nice. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, but there, let's take a look at some of the other motifs as well. And um, do you do all the shooting in your your studio at home or? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. Awesome. yeah. Uh, it's easy to to take uh, pictures uh, from watches because they are small and you only need. Uh, a little space to do the shooting. Uh, I normally shoot another thing in the studio, but normally this kind of uh, photos I made also in home. It's very easy. Yeah, yeah. That's and I use the props that I have in house and things like that. <laughs> so I, I love that though. I love the fact that you're pursuing this sort of natural style of photography, which is not um, using uh, CG or digital imaging to uh, sort of incorporate a different background into a watch. I yeah. think that this is really the style of photography that people really love now. It's funny because we're such a digital world today. I think people love the natural dimension of, of, of photography, of watches, and of the art that you're doing as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see that in uh, not only in the watch photography, but uh, the photography in general. People are going back to analog photography, uh, print the things, uh, their things. Also, uh, we are starting even more to use paper and pens to, to, to take some drawings and things like that. I think people are starting to go to another tactile, uh, tactile uh, world and more natural. I think so. I, I, I totally agree with you. You know, it's almost as if we have to, in some ways, find a refuge from the overwhelming amount of electronic uh, devices in our, in our life. And what was very interesting was during this period of self-isolation, because you're constantly ha in, in front of a screen, whether it's a television screen for your Netflix or your computer for your Zooms or, or what have you, there's something that's a wonderful sense of like uh, oasis, of calm, and uh, a, a, this wonderful refuge that you have with a tactile product like a book, you know, like a beautiful photo a photograph, like an analog uh, um, vinyl record, you know, yes, and yes. hopefully like a print magazine as well, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you know, it's so funny because. Um, people oftentimes ask me, is there a future for print? I say, you know, that's the same thing that they said about vinyl, that it was over, right? And then you see now there's an entire new generation. All of us have returned to vinyl because it's warm and it's alive, right? It's not just digital. Yeah. And I feel as if that print magazines have this incredible future of also as long as they're really honest and they have great information. Because the one thing about the internet now and social media is that information is so readily available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, for example, I, uh, I can't read the magazine in the, in the computer. Uh, I need to buy the, the, the magazine and, the, uh, and the have it in my hands. It's a very different approach, yeah. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, so each one has a hand, handwritten um, caption, uh, watches and pens by Watch Garage, and of course your, your name, Pedro Santos. Yes. Um, fabulous. Yeah. Uh, and sign, which is great. Can we take a look at, do you have just the image of the one with, on the leather background summit? Because I, I really dig that one too. And you know, I have this other magazine called The Rake, which is a magazine. Did yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I know it, yeah. I don't oh. have uh, neither because it's not easy to find it in Portugal, but... Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this I love, and this is like basically like, it, kind of, it should have come out of the, or could come out of the pages of The Rake. Because the rake is all uh, is a magazine about championing hand craftsmanship, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I think that this is another thing that we we love, you know, in a world where everything is so industrially produced, to have something that's made by hand. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. Really, 
incredible. And th this is my uh, uh, this is my tools. I also play with leather and do leather things. For example, really? yeah. For example, this strap is made with that leather, leather, and uh, it's uh, a <laughs> I made for the Baltic. It's almost oh. similar. Yeah, it's very oh. rude, very rude. But I, I play I play with the with the leather and do many things. Yeah. What kind of, what kind of leather is that? Uh, it's a, a, <laughs> a normal leather. Uh, yeah. I, I I don't know very uh, very much about uh, the quality of the leathers, but it's a, a normal leather, cow leather, I think. But is it, with, is uh, it a very tan locally leather. in Portugal? Sorry. Did you is it tan locally in Portugal? Did you do? I think no. We have a, a big a big factory that tan it, tan it, but uh, I think they don't sell it to the smaller players only. Okay. People. Because uh, if you, you you know it, but many brands made the the, 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 the bracelets and the straps in Portugal, leather ones. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we can't find it. <laughs> it's all <laughs> the big guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, uh, we have a big uh, factory for for leather goods. Yeah. Fantastic. And and what kind of watches do you like? I see you wear. Is it a Linda Wordland that you're wearing, or? Yeah, this is also from my friend uh, Andre from Watt Garage. It's the, yes. the only black phantom thing. Uh, it's uh, I will play. Cool. I will do some photos also. Also, it's a right. fantastic watch. And I do a little of everything. I I, I like watches for 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 uh, for overall. Yeah, I don't yeah. have a style. Uh, I, I love to 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 use it and. Uh, for example, this is more uh, modern, modern style. Uh, yeah. uh, this is more a vintage one. Uh, the Baltic sporty. is cool, man. Yeah, sporty. Yeah. Plus, I, 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 I like the watch for a whole, uh, for the mechanical part, for the design. It's, it's a combination of all, all nice. this. Yeah. Nice. You know, it's funny that you were talking about, um, about everyone shifting back to analog and to natural light. There yeah. was, uh, in 1995, there was this, um, cinematic movement that emerged in Denmark called Dogma 95, you know, and the whole idea was they had wanted to shoot the entire movies with natural light and yeah. in sequence, basically. Um, and I'm wondering that it would be wonderful for like, uh, you know, filmmakers to make films again without digital aid, you know, or without over-reliance on digital aid, because there's so much slow motion, so much effects, so much everything. And it's like, just go back to naturalistic storytelling and focus on the story, you know, like. A, yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the principle is the story is what we can tell uh, with that image in, in, and know. Uh, uh, and these uh, normally digital things are uh, uh, a safe for the, the <laughs> a safe for the, the our faults. Yeah, we can. Uh, we have a fault we can do. Yes. Yeah. I, yes, I mean, you make I, up your mistakes with, a, with digital, you know, with digital correction. And it yeah. allows people to be quite sloppy. You know, I, I don't know if you've ever seen a movie by Martin Scorsese called Raging Bull, you know, but there's a, in, in the old days, when you wanted to shoot a scene in, a scene in slow motion, yes. basically your camera would send many more frames of film through the yeah. gate. Yeah. And as a result, you would have to increase the light very significantly, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so when they were shooting the sequence in Raging Bull that goes from, you know, normal speed to slow motion, they actually had to change the um, speed in the camera and simultaneously increase the light yeah. and, and, and while keeping everything in focus. Yeah, this, yeah. to me, you know, and that's great. what I see, that's what I find appealing about your photography. Okay, uh, so let's just pull it because you pulled up the image of the three different prints. I want people to look at this and, uh, and, and take a look at it because I think they're really cool. Yeah. Uh, in that image, you can have a, also a sense of the maybe of with the flower. We can yes. scale of the 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 flower. I use it and the print size. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So Pedro, we're definitely going to do a shoot with you for the, the upcoming issue. So uh, I will uh, have my guys email you and put that together. <laughs> but we'll let you shoot it in whatever style in your style, which I think is perfect. So then, okay, fine. Let's let's now transition to. Uh, to Lena and talk a little bit about how, how did you get started uh, making these wonderful uh, creatures? I like a joke in the beginning uh, have some time some free time and so I start to to make something uh, the little uh, I don't have for now so yeah, and, you know, uh, I the, think the, uh, it's uh, so uh, so good uh, to make something with my hand uh, too original, 
something that you take my soul, take uh, that I like it. it it's uh, not only buy in a store and uh, this is something, um, I don't know how to explain. Personal. I, uh, yeah. yeah, personal. I totally and, agree. You know, these, these kind of um, objects in too many times are just very industrial. And it's so nice to have something that's created by the human being that you can see here and, and that each one is made in a unique way. Um, and it was interesting because I mentioned that I would like a dachshund, you know. Um, and I have to say, because I, 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 I don't think you own a dachshund, but <laughs> your, your research is incredible because the proportions, the, 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 the dimensions, even the mood and the, even the, the stance of the dachshund is perfect. Like when he, he's sitting on my lap, like the way his paws feel on my lap feels exactly like my dogs when they were puppies, you know, like a, so it was really impressive, you know, bravo. Yeah, I look at your picture of your dog and the Pedro says, man, you have to do the same like it's dog. <laughs> you have to feel this dog in your hand. <laughs> you, you, you absolutely nailed it. So, uh, so maybe when we put this up, we can also uh, just put the, uh, the Instagram handles for Lena and for Pedro as well. So in case people want to get in touch with them, they want to commission um, a, a wonderful creature Thank like you. this. I would recommend that anyone that either has children and or even if you just want to get one for yourself, it's great on your desk also uh, to get in touch. And then and, and also for Pedro as well, perhaps people would like to, you know, learn a bit more about his photography and so on. And yes, we're going to be um, offering the prints. Uh, so I think it's three different styles of prints um, or three different motifs of, of prints, all with the, the sin the Sin Dark Star here as well. Uh, so, uh, and I, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys uh, so much for taking the time and uh, it, it's been a pleasure to meet you and it was really fun talking to you. And I hope that we have a chance to hang out and actually have a drink and talk in person one day. Yeah, yeah, when you come to Portugal, you, you know it, when, where you yes. come. <laughs> thank you guys very much and uh, have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Thank bye. you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.